way. The, the anguish with anguish with the husband and the ex-husband and the, the next ex or the next wife or the, the other ex-wife, it doesn't matter. Or with the job or with the finances or whatever had happened in this life, the Bible may give you a promise that it's going to be wiped away. It's going to be wiped away when we get into eternity. Eternities. It's going to be forever. It's going to be joy forever. It's going to be peace forever. It's going to be happiness forever. It's going to be love forever. It's going to be abundance forever. It's going to be delight and elation forever. It's going to be no lack forever. It's going to be no illness forever. Forever. It's going to be no aches and no pains forever. It's going to be no wheelchairs and canes forever. You know how you wake up in the morning, I turn a certain age, and I say, oh, what's that? Where that come from? And I remember my mother telling me, just keep living. Her, her phrase was, for everything, just keep living. But when I get to heaven... There's going to be no more aches and pains. There's, there's not going to be any canes. There's not going to be any, I got to sit on the side of the bed and get loosened up before I get up out the bed. There ain't going to be none of that. I can jump out of the bed like a youthful man. 33 years old, 30 years old. I tell my wife all the time, I, I'm, I'm mentally 25. But we'll be able to live that life. We'll be able to live that life in where? Eternity. But where in eternity? In eternity with God in heaven. Not in eternity with the devil. Where there's pain and sorrow. My hope, my hope, my hope is in eternity. With the Lord, my last scripture, 1 Peter 1 and 3 and 4. It said, blessed be the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled. And that fadeth not away, reserved for you, reserved in heaven for you. It's in heaven. All of the promises that are yea, yea, and amen, they're in heaven. This is our hope that one day when I close my eyes on this side, that I wake up on that side and I can say this is what I was hoping for I got what I was hoping for which is eternal life in Christ all the denial of the body telling the body no you can't have that and no you can't go there and no you can't do that it's going to pay off after a while in heaven that's my hope that's my aspiration. That's my desire. That's what I am hoping that will be fulfilled in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But in order to get to that place, we all got to run on and see what the end's going to be. We all got to put our shoulder to the gospel plow and push it as hard as we can that we can stand on that side and say, here I am, I made it. Hey, Sister Ken. Hey, Sister Ann. Hey, Sister Karen. Hey, Sister Hayden. Sometimes these bodies aren't fair to us. But on the other side, Sister Hayden, you got a brand new body. Hallelujah. 
if this tabernacle be dissolved, that's all right. Because we have another one, another body on the other side whose maker is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we just thank God for putting in every last one of us that are believing in him, that aspiration, that desire of hope for eternal life. Let's stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, God, we just say thank you. That's all we can say is thank you. God, we acknowledge that you are the chief master. All our desires, Lord God, we know that we're, they come from you. Lord God, because we couldn't have this hope, we couldn't have these aspirations, except they come from you, from you. Lord God, we ask that you would lead us and guide us. Lord God, that we'll do in our lives what we need to do. Lord God, that we'll see eternity with you in peace. And Lord God, we leave a legacy even for our children's children's children, which is the word of God. We thank you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Come on, let's give God some praise. How many of you received the word on this morning? Come on, give God praise for Elder Simmons. Thank you. What a, what a powerful word. Let's receive our offering, if you will. Take your seats real quick. If you need an envelope, raise your hand. Raise your hand high. It's time for us to receive our offering. Hallelujah. If this earthly tabernacle be dissolved, we have another one. Building not made with hands. Keep your hands up. It's time for us to sow. Those of you just watching us Facebook Live, the cash app is on the screen. know how to give, but don't forget your pledges that you made. Thank you for everyone who sacrifices. Keep your hand up. They, they're, they're coming. They're coming. Do the best you can. We're still remodeling and doing things around the church to beautify the house of God. And we can only do it through your finances. Once again, thank you for joining us by Facebook Live. All of you that are here, thank you for every contribution you make. We give seed to the soul. And I sold because I received. Keep your hand up. Stand on your feet. Father, we thank you for this time of giving. We don't give grudgingly or necessity, but we know you love a cheerful giver. Thank you for ministering seed to those who sow, and then you multiply the seed they sow, and then you increase the fruits of our righteousness. What an honor it is to give out of our hearts, bountiful. I speak bountiful giving and a bountiful harvest. In Jesus' name, amen. Start from the back, they're going to lead you out. Bring your offerings with excitement and happiness. You can show the video announcements at this time. Lead them out. Good morning, Revivors. If this is your first time visiting for in-person service or on our Facebook Live, Pastor Paul, Lady Shannon, and the RCMI family welcomes you and thank you for joining us today. RCMI family, these are your announcements for the week of February 19th, 2023.
we are still in the renovating stages, so thank you for your patience. If you have pledged to support us, we have separate envelopes that are available for you to give today. Thanks for helping us on our journey to beautify this building. We are excited to celebrate Black History Month by honoring black women entrepreneurs. Our special honoree program will be Sunday, February 26th at the 11 a.m. service. We will be honoring the following women for excellent service they have provided in their businesses in the city and surrounding areas. We will be honoring Davia Allen, Rolanda Holt, Kimberly Houston, Christina King, Mylinda Mitchell, Debria Rice, Gwendolyn Smith, and Bobby Watkins. You don't want to miss this beautiful service. The Evangelistic Outreach Ministry will be having a meeting Saturday, February 25th, 2023 from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. at the church. We will have guest speaker, Chaplain Sylvia Mosley of DCI. She will be talking to us about the prison ministry. This will get us prepared to start our work with the women's prison ministry. Our mission is winning souls for Christ by spreading faith, hope, and love through community service and programs for families. If you are ready to serve in the outreach ministry, we would love to see you there. The RCMI Women's Ministry presents the 2023 Mother of Zion Award Breakfast on Saturday, May 6, 2023 from 9.30 to noon at RCMI. We invite men and women to come out and celebrate the women in their lives. The 2022 annual giving statements will be available upon request during the following time frame, February 5th through March 12th, upon request. All requests must be sent to the following email address, rcmifinanceteam at gmail.com. Thank you for your continued financial support. There are several ways to give. If you would like to give by Cash App, use the Cash App name, dollar sign, R-E-V-C-E-N-M-I-N. You can also use your credit cards to swipe, so you do not need to write your numbers on the envelopes. The finance team will be available before and after services to pay your giving using your credit cards. You still can give online as well. And thank you for your continued financial support for the ministry. We leave you with this Black History Moment. The month of February is not only Black History Month, but it is also American Heart Month. And for that reason, today's Black History Moment is for Dr. Daniel Hale Williams. Dr. Williams was an African-American physician and educator, born in 1856 in Pennsylvania. He is credited with the first successful heart surgery. He graduated with a medical degree in 1883. Dr. Williams practiced medicine in Chicago during a time when there were only three black doctors in the city. Dr. Williams was highly regarded as a skilled surgeon and his practice grew because he treated people of all races. However, he was keenly aware of the limited opportunities for African American physicians, as well as the inferior treatment of black patients. When a woman was not allowed to attend a nursing school because she was black, Dr. Williams founded Provident Hospital and Nursing Training School in 1891. Two years later, he would perform the heart surgery on a man who had stab wounds to the chest. Dr. Williams performed the successful surgery to repair a tear in the lining of the heart, which saved the man's life. Dr. Williams' practice remained active in Chicago until he suffered a stroke in 1926. Dr. Williams retired to Idlewild, Michigan, where he lived until his death in 1931. My name is Deshana Yamini, and this has been today's Black History Moment. where he lived until his death in 1931. My name is Deshana Yamini, and this has been today's Black History Moment. That was excellent. As we stand, let's, I want to just give you an opportunity. Everybody stand on your feet. If anybody's here, you heard the word about eternal life. We want to give a person an opportunity that don't have it to receive it. So if you're watching us by Facebook Live, if you're, if you're here in the building and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you want that eternal life that he preached about, you can come right now. The altar is open. Put in the comment section your name and your number for us to call you and pray with you. So right now, we just want to ask if anyone don't have eternal life and you want to receive Jesus Christ as Savior. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to 
give our hearts to you. We thank you for you giving us eternal life. Eternal life is in his son. And the only way we can have eternal life is through Jesus Christ. That we should not perish, but have everlasting life. So if there's anyone in our midst who don't know you, anyone watching us right now, let them fall on their knees and cry out to you. He the, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank you for the message of eternal life that was taught us this morning. We must have eternal life. If we only have hope in Christ in this life, we'll be all men most miserable. Our hope goes beyond this. the believer's hope that everyone receive it that don't have it we give ourselves to you we bless you both now now bless us as we leave this place but not your purpose be with us thank you for keeping us at the apple of your eye we love you and pray for you in Jesus name amen God bless you you may dismiss yourself